your success ice fishing is extremely circumstantial based on weather conditions. In the summer, pretty much all you have to worry about is wind. Winter, you worry about temperature, you worry about ice conditions. There's a whole lot of things that have to go right to have success. Today, the odds are not in our favor. We know it's nasty out there. We are north of Fort Francis going after lake trout. Lake conditions are miserable, terrible. Um, there's been recently about over a foot and a half of snow. It's it's powdery, fresh snow. It's not packed down. Your snowmobiles are gonna get a workout and the slush. The slush is mind-blowing bad. Like, it's not good. So, you're gonna be limited on to where you can fish. And also, our temperatures right now, negative 28 degrees Fahrenheit. It's cold, it's brutal out there. Going after lake trout. To kind of put it into perspective, we have one day to do this. It, on average, it probably takes about two days to film a lake trout ice fishing show. We have one day in these conditions. It's not in our favor, but we're gonna to try to make it happen. I'm staying optimistic. Let's get after it and seal the dagos. have made it. It is cold, but we're here on the lake. That's crazy. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. We have Brian, Josh, and I going after lake trout. If we can see two, three, four, maybe get lucky, see five fish today, that would be success. I just hope to see a couple. It's tough conditions. Quite a bit of slush, really deep snow, but we're here. Let's get lines in the water. Oh man, it is chilly. It's just so much easier with electric augers. The Scion G2, even in temps this cold, they were great. One thing you wanna do though, like we had a two hour drive here this morning, keep the batteries in your truck. Like we even keep all the batteries in the truck, keep them warm as long as you can to ensure that they're gonna work. You know, any electric auger, your battery percentage is gonna be decreased if you leave your batteries outside all night or even like outside for a couple hours in the morning when temps are these, this extreme. So um, yes, you know, lithium batteries, we use them in everything nowadays, our, our grass, our augers, our cameras, but you gotta just try to keep them warm and they're gonna perform for you. Grab our rods here. Now for rods today, so we're on a lake where, you know, our average size fish are probably going to be two to five, six, seven pounds. Um, but 
you know, if, if we were going after a really big fish or if we were on like Lake Superior, Lake Nipigon, we'd want the Apex Predator rods. You know, those are gonna be, those are gonna handle your big, big fish. But today on this lake, we're using more of a walleye style rod. This is the Trophy Taker from St. Croix. Still plenty heavy enough to bring a 10, 15 pound lake trout up, but it's gonna give us a little bit more fun fight when you do hook those two to five, six pound fish. So Trophy Taker rods definitely double as a walleye, big walleye rod and a lake trout rod. All right, here we go. Got our LX7, we got our rods. Let's go put one in the water. Oh, it is cold today but no wind, no wind makes all the difference in the world. I'd take this temperature over zero degrees with wind any day of the week. So let's see what we're working with here. So kind of so far right now, we're gonna start off in this 70 to 80 foot depth, but we're gonna be prepared to move throughout the day. And I don't know if we're gonna, you just don't know if you're gonna be able to sit here and pluck them off all day or if you're gonna have to move spots a ton you just kind of got to see what these trout are gonna do but this is our first lake trout trip of the 2020 season so I'm excited to get down there and see what these fish have in store for us maybe we can get lucky and uh, pluck a couple off but it's chilly it's chilly let's get down there 74 feet right here there's a lot of lakes just north of Fort Francis here that you can come out and chase after lake trout. Really good potential, a lot of fun. We rigged up some rods last night. I'm going with fluorocarbon. You can kind of see it spooling off the spool a little bit there. That'll happen, but it's worth it because braid in this colder weather would be a little bit tough. So we swapped out the braid for some fluoro just to prevent ice up because we know we're going to be fishing outside. Yes, it would be nice to sit inside and fish inside all day, but it's just, uh, we're going to stick her out outside and see how the day goes. When we care about something, it shows. To help protect these things, Call on the knowledge and experience of a local independent insurance agent that you know and trust. Some things we just can't afford to lose, and that is why we exist. Because the worst brings out our best. Holden Insurance, Duluth and Superior. Hey everybody, it's time to go ice fishing and no place better to shop than Marine General. Ice tents, augers, fish finders and underwater cameras, rods and combos, boots, gloves, jackets and bibs. And the best prices anywhere. Marine General, London Road in Duluth. Come on in to Marine General and get outdoors with us. This winter, take charge on the ice with the Phantom Lures Budzo. Available in three sizes, ranging from one-fifth to three-eighths ounce, the Budzo is ideal for every fishing scenario. With its internal rattle and 12 vibrant fish-catching colors, this lure is sure to be your top bait on the ice. Ideal for big walleyes in the shallows, aggressive trout out deep, and slab-sized crappies in the basin, the Budzo is a proven fish-catching machine. Check them out online at phantomlures.com or in-store at Marine General in Duluth today. Should we move? Hey? Should we move or stay? No, we should get out of here. There's a fish, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I've seen one trout. You see one? I saw one in this hole. 
Yeah, I've caught them over there in 35 feet before. Well, we could rip down there and try them couple X's on that map I had. Spot number one, no avail. Oh, there's a fish following me. Come on. Oh. Come on. Man, he don't want to play. Fish, 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 fish. It feels heavy. It feels heavy. It drags our ice stop. This is a big fish. This is what it's all about though right now. Man, our fourth spot. Just go keeping after it. And you're starting to get discouraged. You keep lines in the water, keep drilling holes and eventually you're gonna get lucky like we are right now. I hope this stays buttoned. 45 feet of water. Oh, this drill. Now we're fighting with the drags because they froze right up. It's hard, it's hard. I mean, you always get asked what reel's best in cold weather. I mean, negative 30, I don't think it matters. So it's 45 feet, I was jigging up about 30, not really paying attention. I looked over and there's a big mark right on me. I reeled up and just kind of slowly jigged it and thunk it, hit it pretty good. Just a jig and a white plastic. I think it's a, it's a big fish. It's a big fish. This is what we needed though. I mean, I hope it stays buttoned. We're close because the water's bouncing. You see that? Yes. She's gonna go back down probably. Oh man. Adrenaline. We did graph a couple earlier, but they just weren't going. There's people are running all around. I don't think these fish are biting that good today, despite the amount of traffic we've been seeing too, but one fish makes it all worth it. I mean, this is worth it to me. We said one, two, three fish in a day. That's what you gotta go after and hope for. And we have one right here. I'm starting to get really nervous now. Plenty of, plenty of backbone in this rod, so I mean, we're fine there. Just, it's just hooks, you know, it's just how long can that hook stay in its mouth before that hole kind of wears open and I don't know. The cold does not work in our favor with the reels. Fishing outside though, it's what you got to do. You got to keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. And eventually you're going to get lucky and hook, hook into one like we did here. <laughs> I don't know guys, I don't, I don't know what we have on here. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it, obviously it's a late trope, but in terms of size, I just, I don't know. Kind of a little neck down pinch point area, 45 feet of water. Winter time, you don't need to be too deep for lake trout. What is it, like it's almost noon right now, so fishing for four, five, three, four, five hours, just bouncing around, drilling holes, drilling holes, seeing a one, two, maybe three fish that just don't want to eat. It's just kind of discouraging. You put in all that effort, all that work, let alone all the work trying to, you know, obtain some video, but, and then you get lucky and you hook one. I mean, that's, that's all you can ask for is this one good fish. I haven't got seen, I can't, there's a glare there. Put your sunglasses down on your hat. <laughs> can you see now? <laughs> it's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> my reel's fine we're good now is it i yeah. just i just can't get its head up like we just had it right up to the hole brian got a glimpse of it it's going back down it's going back down look at this this is why you lake trout fish guys it is so much if you've never caught lake trout through the ice i'd highly recommend it i mean you're not going to go out and pound a bunch of fish a day usually but one two three fish makes makes your day worth it i mean it's just such a fight it's such a battle they fight so hard on this lighter weight gear
What are you doing? Absolutely smoked it. Whew. It's just heartbreak after we lost that last one. I've just been in an absolutely terrible mood. Ready to go home. Just sitting there, just kind of see daydreaming. I see this mark come screaming up from 40 feet and just cracked it. Oh man, what a feeling that is. Man, that fish isn't happy. Oh, these things fight so hard. And it's even harder to get them through an eight inch hole. That there is what a lake trout looks like. Man, <laughs> about half the size of the one I lost earlier, but hey, it's a fish on a day that is nothing less than challenging. I mean, barely, you wanna talk about barely hooked guys. Look at, I mean, just in the tip of the, just in the skin, I mean, just barely, I mean, it just pulls right out. But that's a lake trout. I mean, that's, that's what you like to see. I, I'm so a little heartbroken from that one that I lost, but look at that fish. So much power, so much strength. I mean, like throw through the ice, it doesn't get any more fun than that, despite the challenging conditions. And I don't know, we'll see if we can see another one, but that's two bites in about 20 minutes. Not a bad fish. I dropped down, I had a little one on bottom there, and then as I got messing around, I realized it was just a, some bait fish. So I reeled back up about 10 feet, and I looked down and like, this guy looks a little bigger than just my hook down there. And this guy come, he just came out of nowhere. Oh, I thought I lost <laughs> I him there. I did too, Brian. If you lose yeah. a fish, I'm like, I'm calling her quits on life. That's what you're talking about. This drag, as you pull it out, it's all good, 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 and then know, you get to know, a spot and it gets wicked tough. I know. And then it's good again. What can you do though? Negative 30. Well, I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna thumb it to sort of thing. I just, I'm good still there. sick after yeah. losing my big one. That'd be about it. But, so this is like two minutes after I just caught my land of mine. Brian hooked up. Brian. This guy's crazy. Crazy, this fish. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I lost him twice already, and then he goes crazy. I just feel sick right now just watching this. I'm just like... He must be rolled in it. I mean, three lake trout bites in 20 minutes. That's... You can't ask for much more than that. Did it come off bottom or was it up higher? He just appeared at my hook. At, when the one that was down at the bottom was was bait fish or a perch yeah, or something because yeah, yeah. it darted right off yeah. and then... I lifted it back up to about 10. And you just drilled this hole a minute or a second ago. I did. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Where is he, bro? Eh, don't pull too hard. Well, I'm not. It's real loose in my fingers and just trying to guide it. He's all rolled up. Here he comes. Hey, that's number two, Brian. Grab your fish. Oh. Hey, guys. <laughs> I worked so hard for this fish. <laughs> worked so hard. Right? Drilled a lot of holes. Hold her up. Drilled a lot of holes to get that fish. <laughs> a lot of holes. Spent a lot of time. Froze like, my hands, froze my feet. Oh. Like, yes, it's fun to come on here and pound the fish, but like, 
even when you grind away and you just catch a few, like there's so much more oh. rewarding, you know? There's it is, like, I'm pretty happy after all that work yeah. to finally get one. Yeah. It's definitely not the biggest, but it's healthy. Yeah, that's That a is nice a fish. beautiful fish. That's a nice fish. <laughs> yeah, just a three inch plastic is all I've been using. It's all twisted up on here, but it matches the bait fish that they're eating at this time of year, so it works out pretty good. Usually when they see it, they don't mess around. They come and they smack it pretty quick, or at least they give you a run. We better get her back for it. Keep that one for dinner. In. What size? Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's pretty good. Dinner dinner fish, we huh? worked hard enough. Right. And we're keeping one Fresh for trout. <laughs> All <laughs> right, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Now through March 29th, take advantage of rebates up to three thousand dollars on select Lund boats from RJ Sport and Cycle located in Duluth. We sell everything from fiberglass ties and Pro V's, perfect for the big water and space for the family, to tillers, side councils, pontoons, and much more. Our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff is here to answer all your questions and to help get you into your next Lund boat. Visit us in store or online at rjsportandcycle.com today. Protect your investments this winter with an enclosed trailer from Wittis Trailer Sales, located in Esco. We also sell cargo trailers, utility trailers, snowmobile trailers, and much more. Did you know we stock a full line of Heinecker snowplows? While you're here, shop the largest selection of Mahindra tractors in the area. Don't forget about our service center, ready to tackle jobs of any size. Wittis Trailer Sales in Esco, where customers become friends. At Hartel's Disposal, we are proud to be your local hauler for over 65 years and three generations. Our focus on customer service has allowed us to become the largest locally owned trash and recycling company in the greater Duluth area. Servicing both residential and commercial locations, we have disposal solutions for every need. Trash and recycling containers, dumpsters and more, we have it all. Looking for a new and exciting career? We are now hiring for multiple positions. Visit us at Hartels.com today. This week's health tip is brought to you by St. Luke's, the patient above all else. Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Lund, infectious disease physician at St. Luke's Hospital in Duluth, Minnesota. Here's your health tip for canning fish. Remember to always heat your fish to at least 240 degrees Fahrenheit to kill the dangerous spores of heat resistant bacteria such as Clostridium botulinum. This is the bacteria that can cause the foodborne infection called botulism. Enjoy your canned fish! You have to be jigging right now up about 20 feet. So I know that would seem weird if you're not accustomed to lake trout fishing, but that's really what you have to do. So we're in 45 feet of water right now every single fish that I've seen today or at this spot has absolutely throttled the bait. They've bit, they've committed, they loved what they saw. So I'm jigging them between 20 and 25 feet down from the top of the ice in 45 feet of water. So my uh, kind of, you know, these fish are swimming in when they're coming in, they're about five to 10 feet below me at 30 feet. So kind of what my experience tells me as a, as a lake trout fisherman, if you see the fish first and they don't see your bait, AKA if your bait is under them and you reel up to them, sometimes they don't like that. If they see your bait first before you see them on your graph, it's game on because they know that they can chase it, they know it's more natural and they see it from afar and they're ambushing it. They get into hunt mode and they come and they're gonna crack that bait. So really jigging up high. Again, lake trout live in very, very clear water. I don't really care where, where you're talking, Minnesota, Canada, Manitoba, Ontario, like wherever, if you have lake trout, you're gonna have clear water. They can see a long ways. So really jig up high. And these fish that right behind me here, where, where the ING2 is back there, that's like 20 feet. So these fish will be up there cruising. They'll kind of come off that shallow water. They're gonna stay a little bit suspended and they can see far, so. And I'm not having to be too aggressive with, you know, kind of the, my jigging cadence. You know, I'm just kind of slowly jigging it. You know, a couple of the fish have come in when my rods are sitting still, but as long as they can see it, big white plastic, that's kind of what, uh, what it takes right now. He's back, he's back, he's back. Got him. 
fish, fish, fish. Unbelievable how fast that happens. I set the hook on this fish, guys. It came in, literally it looked like interference on my graph. I set the hook on it and I hooked it and it got off and I dropped back down and missed it. And he came back and just cracked it. I don't know what we got here, buddy. Obviously a lake trout. I don't know how big. Oh man. Oh man. That's adrenaline pumping. I'm running out of bath. Huh? Running back and forth to you. Oh man. I don't know how big it is. I don't think it's as big as our first one, but it's a lake trout, guys, and that's all you can ask for. We got it coming up now. What a flurry though, Brian. And like this is like totally indicative of the spot that we're in. And I'll explain that once we hopefully get this fish on the ice, but they come through in waves. Well, they really do. We were almost at the point of giving up and calling it a day and then got one and spirits were lifted and it's all we needed. There she is. Come on. <laughs> I can't get her head. Look at that. Right there, guys. Buddy, that's... Way to go, buddy. Number three, I can't even almost do the number three hand. My hands are so cold. <laughs> That's number three on a day of hard work and now a little bit of success. But what a fish. We're gonna get this one back before her fins freeze too much, but that's a nice lake trout there. I don't know, three, four, pound, four pounder. Nothing wrong with that at all. Let's just get her back. Whoa, <laughs> that fish was spunky, <laughs> but they come through in waves and so we're kind of in a neck down narrow area here where we have some islands but it's narrow and kind of a trench that comes through here and we're gonna you're gonna have fish filter through here and that's exactly what's going on i lost that one and not you know my first one and not 10 minutes later i hooked one and then brian you hook one not much later i hook one and then like in between those two sets of fish it was dead for 45 minutes so you're just getting waves of fish piling through here and that's why i like fishing a spot like this versus a piece of structure on a piece of structure you're gonna only, only have so many fish there on a spot like this you're gonna have fish filtering through all day long so absolutely there's a deeper hole just out there about 20 feet deeper so they can hang out there and this channel actually stays 45 feet all the way through here which yeah. is pretty cool so just like you're saying yeah they'll just keep running back and forth through here all day yep yeah, and i mean that's we're getting lucky you now. I mean, I mean, to see, you know, to have four opportunities like that in a pretty short period of time is, is very good. So, yeah. you know, we kind of paid our dividends this morning and it just sure kind of stuck at it and, you know, keep going. But that fish yeah. was crazy. It, it literally, it looked like interference. It was going so fast on my graph yeah. and it comes up and cracked it. And I set the hook and my rod bent. So I knew I got hooks into it and any other fish species that would go away. I can still see it on my LX7. I drop back down there and he comes and just cracks it. So, so I love fish and trout. That's why trout are, yeah, I mean. It's, <laughs> Good job, buddy. Yeah, nice one, nice one.